how sweet is sweet? Let's talk about that today on Beyond the Brews. Okay, so this comes up pretty often. Um, people ask, well, if I know what the specific gravity is, but what does that mean as far as how much sugar is actually in the brew? We actually don't get that conversation as much oh, as we get 1.32 is way too sweet. Oh, I, I agree. 1.32 would be incredibly I, sweet. 1.032 might not be so sweet. Okay. Got to watch those decimal points. That's an important thing. Before we get too much further, I would like to point out, please use four digits when describing specific gravity. Yeah. It makes life so See much how easier. I messed it up already? Yep. <laughs> she did that on purpose as a segue into this. This is an educational tool. Yeah. What I mean by that is, if your gravity is 1.1, 1 .1, right? You read it as 1.1. 1 .1. Don't say it that way, say 1.100, and here's why. 1.1, I have had people tell me that that was their final gravity. They actually meant 1.010. But did they mean 1.010, 1.001, or 1.100? See the difference? It gets very confusing. And same thing for the low one. Use 0.9, because it's always gonna be 0.9 and then the rest of the numbers. It just makes life so much easier for everyone around you if you're trying to describe those things to others. But today, we're talking about how much sugar would be in something. So let's say 1.060 as a specific gravity. Starting, ending, doesn't matter. That is the solution that you have. You pour it in this glass, Yeah. there you go. And actually that's cranberry juice. It might even be close to that number. Yeah. But we're not even taking a measurement. It's how much actual sugar would be in a glass. Now, for a glass, we're gonna say a standard glass of about eight ounces, okay, just to make life easy. And I'm gonna so have not, to use some- not this glass. Yeah, not this. this. These are six, I think, five and a half? Five and a half. Or four, maybe. I think these are five. Oh, okay, five, okay. So just to make things easy, we're gonna use that. So a term that you might have heard used is bricks. Now bricks is literally one bricks equals one gram of sugar in 100 grams of the liquid. Now 100 grams of water is 3.38 fluid ounces of water. So 100 grams, 3.38 ounces, depending on what system you like to use. But bricks is based off of metric. I'm just gonna tell you that right now, it is. So, an easy way to convert SG, specific gravity, to bricks is this. Let's say you have 1.060. You take the one and the point off, you're left with 060, or 60, right? Divide that by four, comes to 15. Guess what? That's about 15 bricks. It's close, it's like 14.7, but we're gonna go with 15 because it's so much easier to do those numbers, okay? If you're actually dealing with a hydrometer reading and you have a triple scale hydrometer, sometimes they'll sh they, just they have rotate bricks it right to on. bricks and there you go. Yeah. So how do you know from bricks how much sugar you have in your brew? Let's say you had an eight ounce glass of something that was 1.060 specific gravity. Well, I'm gonna use my calculator for this one. If we know that one point of bricks is one gram of sugar in 3.38 ounces, right? And we want eight ounces. That means eight divided by 3.3 gives us 2.42. So I have to multiply everything by 2.42. So this is where it gets a little bit confusing because Brix is kind of like SG. It's volume independent because if I have eight ounces of a liquid, the bricks can be still the same whether I have eight ounces or four ounces, even though the measurement is one gram in 100, millilit 100 milliliters or 100 grams of that fluid. So this is where it gets just slightly confusing. So the volume is only necessary to convert how much sugar? How much liquid. actual sugar. This is what this does. It gives you an actual quantity of sugar that is in that eight ounces. So if I have an eight ounce glass that is 1.060 specific gravity, I know take that 60 and make 15, right? So I got 15 bricks. 15 bricks is 15 grams in 3.38 ounces. 15, now 3.38 ounces is, multiply that by 2.42 and I get eight ounces. So 15 times 2.42 is 36.3 grams of sugar. Now, if you use the metric system, that means something to you. If you use the American system, it probably doesn't. But I can tell you right now that for every teaspoon, you have four grams of sugar. So divide that by four, and I get nine teaspoons of sugar in an eight ounce glass. Sounds like a lot, and it is. So you realize that that's three tablespoons, and that's a very high gravity. I think we've only ended up with that maybe one time. So if you were to cut that to 1.030, 
Now you're literally talking one and a half tablespoons of sugar in a full eight ounce glass. How many of you put sugar in your coffee and put at least that much in a small cup of coffee? So think about it from that perspective. It's not that crazy sweet and it goes lower as you go down. Like if we go to 1.020, now it's only one tablespoon of sugar in a, in a glass it would be equal to drinking both of these. So it'd be like half a tablespoon in that glass. Really not that much. And I'm not trying to convince you that you should drink things sweet. That's not what this was about at all. It was really just to be able to calculate how things go. And another thing that people like to know is how many calories are in their meat. Now this gets very interesting and can be very, very complicated. If we use 1.060 as our number in an eight ounce glass, we have nine teaspoons of sugar. Each teaspoon is 15 calories. So that's 135 calories from sugar. That's not really that crazy when you, when you think about it. If we wanna calculate the alcohol, Alcohol weighs 0.82 US ounces per ounce of alcohol, but now we need to know what the ABV of our drink was. So if we have eight ounces, let's say it was a 10% alcohol, right? So eight ounces times 0.1 gives us 0.8 ounces of that is actual alcohol. So times 0.82 gives us 0.656 ounces, US ounces of alcohol times 28 for grams times 28 gives us 18.36 grams of alcohol. Now, alcohol is seven calories per gram. We have 18.368 grams times seven, 128.5, call it 128 for a nice round number. So you got 128 calories from the alcohol in that eight ounce beverage and 135 calories, so plus 135, and the other, so it's 263 calories for that eight ounce glass of 1.060 specific gravity, 10% mead. Yep. Amazing. And if you cut it down, like I said, to a more normal number, like 1.030 or lower, you just cut the calories from the sugar in half. So at 135 drops down to 65 or 70 or lower. So you're talking 200 calories roughly for an eight ounce, 10% sweet mead. Does it go less if you go dry? Of course it does. That's just the way things work. It goes less if you put less alcohol in it too. Yep. It goes up if you put in more alcohol. So there's another reason to not do super high ABV drinks if you're trying to watch the calories. Did I actually answer the question of how sweet is sweet? <laughs> you answered that. It's a lot of math. It's more. But that's the gist. So you, to get bricks from SG, divide by four. Very, very simple. And then from there, it's one bricks is one gram in a hundred mil. Or if you wanna go with ounces, you're gonna love this one. 0 0.009 ounces per ounce. <laughs> That's how much sugar it is. 0 0.009 ounces of sugar per ounce at one bricks. That's why we just use one gram for a hundred mil. It's so much easier because, oh my God, the numbers get stupid. Do you have a crazy question that we can answer here or somewhere else? Let us know in the comments below. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.